Pope Francis is addressing the clergy sexual abuse scandal in a letter to Catholics all around the world. In the letter, Pope Francis admits the church, quote, abandoned the little ones. Pope Francis wrote, the heart-wrenching pain of these victims was long ignored, kept quiet, or silenced. Even though it can be said that most of these cases belong to the past, we did not act in a timely manner, realizing the magnitude and the gravity of the damage done to so many lives. The letter is in response to a grand jury report last week in Pennsylvania that found more than 300 priests had sexually abused at least a thousand children over the past 70 years. And the response to the clergy abuse scandal from the Bishop of Madison is creating some controversy this evening. And Bishop Robert Morlino issuing a letter to parishioners of the diocese over the weekend claiming homosexuality is one of the root causes of this sexual abuse. Jamie Perez joins us now to tell us about that letter and the response that it's getting tonight. Jamie. Thanks so much, guys. Well, if you've seen this letter online, it's rather lengthy and touches on a lot of concerns. The bishop acknowledges there is a major issue of sexual abuse within the church, but the LGBTQ community says the blame is in the wrong place. It's gained a lot of attention from the online community. Bishop Robert Morlino giving his two cents on the uptick of sexual abuse scandals across the country. He goes on to point out numerous times how homosexuality plays a key role in the problem, saying, quote, it's time to admit there's a homosexual subculture within the hierarchy of the Catholic Church that is wreaking great devastation in the vineyard of the Lord. But LGBTQ activist Emily Mills says sexual orientation is not the issue. It has nothing to do with sexual, sexuality or sexual identity. Um, other than, you know, they're providing a, a place and a haven for people who are broken in some way and not getting the help that they need. They're given a, a playground, basically, to do whatever they want, and then it's being covered up. Merlino acknowledges sexual abuse is, in fact, a major growing problem, but Emily says the finger-pointing is misplaced. But I feel like it's cut, it's undercut by the fact that he's then just passing the buck and placing blame where it absolutely doesn't belong. We reached out to the church for comment. Morlino was not available for an on-camera interview, but an assistant sent us this statement saying groups have, quote, cherry-picked portions to fit their agenda or claim the bishop is saying something he is not. What is he trying to say then? If you're really trying to take responsibility for something and stand up and say this is wrong and we need to fix it, you need to really engage with what the real problems are, and I don't see that happening. Emily added Morlino has a long history demonizing the LGBTQ community, and if he wants to see change as he claims, he needs to face what the actual problem is. The gender of the child has no bearing on what is happening. Any child who is being abused, that is a problem. If you would like to read the full letter that the bishop wrote, you can find a link to it on our website. That's channel3000.com. Now, the assistant who wrote to us saying the bishop was not available for an interview today said the bishop may make himself available sometime soon. All right, Jamie Perez reporting tonight. Jamie, thank you. Jamie